Oh, year 11 when the races. Uh, so it's 1979, isn't it? It's 1979, yes, well done, mate. Good dates. And I went to the races in the school holidays and didn't know much about it, went out there and I saw uh, Wilderest Frank and Guy Burnham together with Chris Hickey when he was still alive in the pack and they just had big bundles of 50s and they put money on for themselves and Ross Evans and that. I didn't know who any of those names were. In fact, I didn't know who Wilderest Frank And I remember looking at Guy and Frank and just thinking, wow, I just want to be out here with those blokes. Yeah. I, don't mm. want to do, I don't want to do school anymore. I mm. So I finished school and went, uh, all my mates went to schoolies and, and I went out the track for two weeks to see if I could get a bank and I fucking never left. Mm. Yeah, know, back in the old days, people used to get get lured by the circus. They'd go to the circus and they'd run off and join the circus. And it's a bit like that. I saw Frank and Guy Burnham in the ring in 1979 with Chris Hickey dragging on a cigarette and then... And they were so cool. Mm. And they were so... had so much cash on them. And they talked in a certain lingo and I stood near them. And I just... I was fucking in awe. It was like mm. I was looking at movie stars to me. And now, like... We're on weights and that, blah, blah, blah. I asked Guy for a job in about 1981. I went out to the trust for a job and on the ground or something. Can he give me a job, give me a start? And he said, oh, no, mate. He looked, he, he looked at me how I look at Aaron, like, you're a fucking idiot. And, so, <laughs> and uh, he, he all these, you know, 35, 30. Yeah, so that's how it started. He's but on it, it was, Oldman, is he? Guy Burns on me. He's in his 60s. I think he's 60, Guy. But he doesn't look anything. Oh, yeah. he's, he's got looks, that Scandinavian. He's got to be early. He looks eight years younger than he is. And he, he acts 20 years younger than he is. And he's a bit like me. If a shield's over 30, he asks questions, but not, not a ch you haven't got a chance in hell of getting a run with me like this. Mm. Mm. It's just like, he's going to never be an old man. Mm. But uh, yeah, I was in awe of those blokes. That, that, and that's what it dragged me in. Like like you said, I ran off at the circus. Mm. And, and, like and how wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. I could go surfing for two weeks. In schoolies in those days, you used to go to Wombrel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in a beaten up combi with all your mates, and fucking, and I, and I, and I was a pretend surfer. What I mean by that is I could surf, but when it got above four foot, so if it was like six or eight foot, I was one. Of the, I was the best boy you'd ever see. I was out the back going, "Woo, yeah, good day, boys." I fucking yeah. wouldn't go down or anything. No way. I yeah, right. oh, shit scared. Yeah, ah, really. Yeah, but all my mates never knew I caught a wave. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a good day surfing, boys. Yeah, yeah. I never got a fucking wave. Yeah. I was too scared. <laughs> I was scared of sharks. Another, another good mm -hmm. story from Jake Pollock. Oh, it was the, it was Guy and Frank and um, Chris Hickey and then you know Chris is dead. Been dead twenty years. Been dead for ages. Yeah. Nobody even knows. Anyway, we 